It has been just over a week since DJI 04 released, and now we know all of the things that the reviews didn't tell us. Now, I'm not suggesting that people didn't tell us things on purpose, but the truth is, it always takes a product to end up in people's hands before we understand the full situation. And today, whilst there is a lot of good DJI have a little bit of work to do. Now, in this video, I want to cover some specific things. We're going to talk about the iNav OSD situation. We are going to talk about a problem that I have now been able to replicate with 04 and the DJI Goggles 2. I'm going to assume it's also on the Integra as well, but I don't have a set to test. This is an issue where you're stuck in either 16 or 30 megabits a second. And we're also going to talk about camera cable issues not only why the cables that are available on the market today won't work but also a bit of a warning around how easy the existing cable that comes with 04 is to damage and also a warning around the light camera as well on that interposer board on the back now some of this stuff is things that DJI need to fix because the firmware issue on the goggles 2 is certainly a problem the cable issue is certainly a problem and the iNav OSD issue is certainly a problem as well so let's get on with it okay so the first thing we're going to talk about is what appears to be a firmware issue on 04 and the DJI goggles 2 and what I would also predict to be the goggles Integra now information around this issue has been a bit light it's been hard to get a full understanding if it is only the goggles 2 I have not been able to replicate this on goggles 3 I can only replicate it on goggles 2 and this is a situation where you're stuck at either 16 megabits a second or 30 megabits a second when arming in auto mode so here you can see on the screen my DJI 04 system connected to the DJI Goggles 2. Now if I just show you what the issue is first of all, if I just arm, you will see that the ear unit will jump out of low power mode. But if you look in the bottom corner, we are only at 15, 16 megabits a second. It is not jumping to the full 50 megabits a second that you should get with the goggles 2 just remember goggles 2 and integra will give you up to 50 megabits a second goggles 3 goggles n3 up to 60 megabits a second because they are based on the new 04 chipset even though this doesn't have the new 04 chipset it should though give us the 50 megabits a second now if i just disarm a moment and go into the menu what you will see is that we are in the normal operating mode which is auto and the issue is specifically related to auto and after doing all of my testing the issue is is that it is not jumping to the 40 megahertz carrier mode and it's getting stuck at either the 10 or the 20 megahertz carrier mode now just to show you what actually happens when you use it in manual if i just go to manual channel selection and we can then select 40 megahertz and if we come out of that if we now arm you will see that we will get the full 50 megabits a second however if i disarm go back into auto you will see that we will be limited now i have found a few quirks around this because you can now see that it's jumped from 16 to 30 and the quirks are it is sticking on either the 10 or the 20 megahertz carrier mode so just to demonstrate what i mean by that if we go back into manual channels and we select 10 megahertz carrier here and then back out and then go into manual uh, auto mode but having have selected 10 megahertz it will limit itself to 16 megabits a second sorry let me get that off screen there you go 15 16 megabits a second however if we manually go again back into manual and set that to 20 megahertz and then go back in and set it to auto so we've left it on 20 go to auto we will now get the full 30 megabits a second 
What doesn't work though, unfortunately, is setting it at 40 megahertz. Go down. Going back to auto. Unfortunately, it drops back down to the 20 megahertz carrier, 32 megabits a second. Now, I have confirmed all of this on my Spectrum Analyzer, and as I've said, what is happening is it is sticking on either 10 or 20 megahertz bandwidth. It is not jumping to the 40 megahertz bandwidth when using auto with the goggles too. So when you first go into manual channel settings, it will actually default it down to 10 megahertz. And that's then why you're only seeing the 60 megabits a second. But if you go into the manual channel selection and set it to 20 megahertz, you'll actually be able to get up to the 30 megabits a second. Here right now, let me just check what we are on with the system. So I'm on auto, I'm gonna arm. And what you will see is the carrier has kicked in. We are in this 20 megahertz carrier. So if you can see the basically 20 megahertz carrier in auto, but it will not jump up to the 40 megahertz carrier to give you the full bandwidth. Now, there is also one other quirk to this issue and that it is, it appears to only affect people in the FCC mode. If you're a CE user and in normal CE mode, you get 50 megabits a second without any problems. This only happens in my testing as a CE user with the ham file. I don't know yet 100% if this also affects FCC users who are not using the ham file or FCC users who are using the ham file. What I do know is I can only replicate this with the ham file in an FCC region. I cannot replicate it in normal standard CE mode. It works absolutely fine. So it is something either related to the FCC region and FCC normal use or specifically related to using the ham file to get FCC mode. Again, this is a firmware bug and we're going to have to wait and see. I'd be interested to know if anyone out there is having this, are you FCC without the ham file, FCC with the ham file, or are you CE with the ham file? Which one of those categories you fall in into? But the truth is, it's a firmware bug that DJI need to fix. Now, as I also mentioned, I have not been able to replicate this on Goggles 3. But again, if you're seeing this on Goggles 3, please do let me know. Next, I'm going to talk about iNav. Now, there's a lot of confusion around this. Does DJI 04 support iNav? Does it not? Does OSD work? And you need to separate this into two sections. 04 does not officially support iNav. It does not officially support KISS. It does not officially support Ardrapilot. 04 only officially supports Beta Flight at this moment in time. Now, in the past, Ardrapilot, iNav and others have added sort of beta flight OSD compatibility mode to their software to make it work with DJI 03. And that is the same today with 04. That has not changed. There was though an issue with iNav where it wouldn't arm with DJI 04. Beta flight, KISS, Ardrapilot all worked fine, but iNav didn't. This is separate to the OSD issue. This was simply when you armed your aircraft, it wasn't picking up the arming command. Now, my understanding is this was actually a DJI issue in the way they implemented MSP that only affected iNav. I think there will be some movement on that. I think iNav have introduced a fix which they're trialing or they're going to put into their firmware, but I think DJI also probably need to change something as well. That is basically fixable iNav can solve that their side if they need to. With regards to the OSD, the situation today is exactly the same as it was before. You have the Betaflight OSD. If you want to use iNav with 04, you can, but you have to use it in the Betaflight OSD compatibility mode as you have to do with Ardrapilot. Now, we did believe pre-launch that there was going to be iNav OSD. It's there. We know it's in there. DJI have said through their customer services teams that they are going to add it in the future. 
Uh, let's wait and see how that happens. But there is an official message that has been shared that they will be adding support for iNav in the future. We know the OSD is in the goggles already. It's just not fully working. Probably DJI ran out of time and that's why it's not there. But really for this, DJI, please do give iNav support. We'd love you to give Ardra Pilot support. The real simple way for you to fix this, DJI, is for you to allow uploads of custom font packs onto your system. I have thoughts on the mess of MSP DisplayPort and a lot of people don't agree with me on this. I think this whole thing could be done much better. I do not blame DJI for not supporting these other systems, but DJI, you can do something about this and you can allow the upload of cost custom font fat packs custom font packs onto the SD card of the goggles that users can then upload their own. This would mean you never have to worry about if the font pack that you have installed is up to date again because it offloads the responsibility of that to the user and the community. We're not asking you to open up your system. We're not asking you to only do this a certain way. It just allow uploads of font packs onto the SD card to be used by DJI goggles. That way we can take responsibility as a community for the fonts. You never have to get involved in it again. You don't have to worry about if they're updated and that way everyone's happy. So that's where we're at with regards to the iNav font set. Now, the next thing I want to talk about is camera cables, but also an issue around them getting damaged really easily. Now, the first thing to understand is DJI 04 uses the same connector as the original FPV system and Avatar HD. However, it is not the same pinout. It is not the same connector as 03, but it is also not the same pinout as we had on those earlier systems either. Now, as I said earlier, it is not the same connector as 03. So just to show you the differences here, this bottom one is 03. And then the top one is the same one that 04 is using, the original FPV system and Avatar HD. It is a much smaller connector that DJI is using, so 03 is out the window. With regards to why won't the original FPV system cables and CADEX cables work on Avatar HD, I've done some tests and I found out that they are basically wired opposite. This is the original CADEX cable. And if I just stretch it out, now when you stretch it out like this, right, that top pin there, so pin one at the top, will go to pin one at the top this side. So if you take a multimeter on this cable and test this, you would just go down all of the way and they would all line up. Unfortunately, when it comes to 04, it's actually opposite. So when you stretch the cable out like this, top pin there is the bottom pin on this side, and it is crossing over when you stretch it out like this. If you actually do it this way, and this is how you would usually test the cable, it's the opposite. So the CADEX cable, when you were testing it like this, that pin there goes to that pin on that side. So you would go that way to that way. Whereas on the DJI 04 cable, pin one here goes to pin one here and it all flows the same way. So they are wired opposite. As a result of that, unfortunately, you cannot use any of the existing cables with the DJI 04 system. Now, further to this, and what seems to be making matters worse, is we are starting to see reports of people having problems as a result of how fragile these new cables are from DJI. For starters, this cable with the 90 degree bend is causing problems. People are having the cable get pulled here and it is causing damage. We are also seeing a problem with this little interposer board on the DJI Light ear unit. Now, for those who don't know, there's actually a second PCB that your cable attaches to. So when you look at this, you can see your cable goes onto this board on the back. This board goes on to the camera. Unfortunately, this is all just held in place with a little bit of glue and people have started to post images after crashes of this connector actually coming off and actually getting damaged. It is a very small and thin connector. What I'm going to do 
is actually cut the glue on this one to show you. So I've just put a knife through the glue and I'm going to very carefully pop that off. And you can now see that there is this PCB connector that is on the back of the camera. Basically, this is the camera module out of the Neo. We've now seen internal pics from the Neo. They're available on iFixit, and it basically shows this module. And what DJI have done is use this little interposer board between the camera connector on the cable and the camera connector itself. Unfortunately, though, these connectors are really, really delicate. And people have started posting images of theirs being damaged in crashes. And we're starting to see that cause a problem already. Now, there is no easy fix for this other than I would be covering this in a lot of glue if you intend to fly it in a situation where it's going to get damaged. I'm just trying to remove the little bit of glue I've got on the edge of my board there. Did I have this? glue that they use which is quite hard there we go and what i would be doing is mounting this back on very carefully not pressing to damage it like that and i would be covering the back of this in glue because there is a real risk if this gets ripped off in a crash you are going to have permanently damaged your camera. Now, if you are getting these cable issues, do make sure that you open a support ticket with DJI and file an RMA. It is only through support tickets are DJI going to know the issue that people are having. There's no point just screaming about it online. Me making videos like this will highlight it, but the real truth is for DJI to improve the quality of this cable because it is dramatically poorer than the quality of the cable that we had on O3, they will need the RMA return requests and that is what will hit them in the pocket and tell them that they're having issues and that way they can and hopefully address it. So get on the DJ website if you have it, open a ticket and get them to replace it. Don't just waste the money on a cable yourself because this needs improvement. Now that is pretty much everything I know about that I think is a real issue today with O4. There are always new users getting on board and having problems, but we have the firmware issue on the goggles too. I need to understand a bit more about that. So again, if you are seeing this, I need to know what goggle you are using are you in CE area or FCC area? If you're in CE, have you unlocked to FCC? If you're in FCC, are you using the ham file or not to get extra channels? Because I need to work out exactly the cause. But right now, as I've said, CE user with ham file FCC causes that issue. I now have OSD. Again, DJI, please give us the option to upload our own font set on to 04. And finally, camera issues, mostly all on the light. You need to be careful with that connector. It is fragile. The light ear unit, the standard is fragile anyway, but I would be putting some hot glue over the back of that if I was you. Now, if you have any questions or thoughts, please do let me know down below. With regards to extend, extended, extended cables for 04, we haven't seen any yet. They will come out. It'll take a week or two. They will come out. Be with it. It's a bit annoying, I know, but they will be available eventually. Um, I hope you found this interesting. Let me know what you think in the comment section. If you have any questions, put it down there and I'll try and answer it as well. And finally, I just want to say a big thank you to everyone who supports the channel. If you'd like to support us to allow us to keep making content like this, please do consider checking out the links to my Patreon as well as buy me a coffee. It is only through the support of my patrons I'm able to keep making content on this channel. And if you'd like to support us to allow us to keep making content in the future, please check it out. I want to say a huge thank you to all of my Patreons, all of the channel supporters, the donations, and the odd sponsor that we have now and again, like Grey Arrows Drone Club, who allow allowed me to buy this O4 ear unit. A massive thank you. Please do continue. You would not be able to get content from me without the support you give. I would not be able to make the content I give you without the support you give. Whichever way around it is, a huge thank you from me. Look after yourself, stay safe, and I will speak to you soon.